Hello everyone, this is uh, Josh with Fresh Start Custom once again. Um, just going to go through the basic upload process this time of the Glowforge for any new users. I'm going to start with all new user videos first and work my way up to advanced. So this is going to be a pretty basic video. Just going to show you how to use this upload button right here to upload a print uh, to the Glowforge. So like I mentioned in a previous vi uh, video, if you have no idea how to design and you just want to print something free, um, you can do that either from the commu community page under the free file section or um, my Facebook page group with my free files that I put on there. Just going to walk you through really quick on how to download that and then save it as an SVG file since Facebook won't let me share SVG files directly. So let's go ahead and walk through this process here. We're going to go right to that page that I was telling you about with all the free files here. Um, if you didn't read the rules, I'd recommend reading that. Basically, common sense, don't sell a free file. Um, so if there's a certain file that you want, you can actually click on the comments to see what it looks like. So this is one that I did a while ago, um, but I'm actually going to go down um, to the doorbell one that I did quite a while ago because it has all three functions that I'm going to show you in a later video that we'll use. Uh, right here is the doorbell mount, um, and I'll click the comments here just to show you what it looks like. So right here is kind of what that doorbell mount looks like and I also have the link right there to the doorbell there's no affiliations I'm just doing this as a hobby so not in it for the money um, but yeah this is what the doorbell mount looks like it's pretty cool a lot of people found it really neat and uh, and it ended up on Glowforge's customer uh, gallery page so just going to show you that here. Um, basically, all you have to do is click the download button here, and then that will download. And then all you got to do is open it right into the um, Adobe Illustrator program here. And it should work in Inkscape if you're using the free Inkscape program. But I personally never used Inkscape, so not sure how well that will work or if it'll convert right. But, uh, Essentially, this is what it's going to open to. This is just a standard Illustrator file. So what we're going to have to do, all you'll have to do, essentially, in this situation, is go up to File, Save As, and then choose where you want to do it. I'm going to just go to the desktop, and then you can name it what you want. I'm going to leave it as Doorbell Mount, and then dr click the drop down here and change it to SVG file. And then you hit Save. And this is the exact setup that I have. Um, I've got this from the forms. This is what most people do. That way your outline doesn't shift for you. Um, I would recommend taking a screenshot of this, save it, because it may change down the road and you may want to save it for future reference. Um, some people use different stuff, but this is what I've always used and never had an issue with it. So do what you want with it. This is what I would recommend. And then all you got to do is hit OK to save it. And now you have it saved right on your desktop. Right here is doorbell mount. Now, some people get confused because they see this Google Chrome icon. All that means is I have it set where if I double click on it, it'll automatically open in Google Chrome. That doesn't mean anything. Um, that's not going to affect the print at all. So all you have to do then is go back to your Glowforge app, like we covered before, app.glowforge.com. Choose Upload. And then I'm going to go back to my desktop. And right there it is, the doorbell mount. I'm going to click on that, choose Open. And then it's going to render the design. And um, like I said in a previous photo or video, that rendering design can take quite a while with bigger files. This one isn't that big of a file. And there you go, it's uploaded.
So in a future video, I'm going to go through all the settings here with this exact same design, show you guys like the engrave, score, cut, um, different settings that you can go through. Just going to keep all the videos short and sweet to the point that way you can search them, get what information you need and be out of it. And we can move right on on to the next video there. So I hope this helped you guys uh, out and showed you how to upload a design. Um, and like I said, that's just a free design. If you actually created this on your own, it would work the same way. So for example, if you wanted to make something like that really quick, you could just create like an actual square, choose like a cut path, which I usually choose red, and then you would just create the design that way. Um, but that's, that's up to you. You would save it the exact same way where you just go to File, Save As, and then make sure that's on SVG. And that's how you save the SVG and upload a file to Glowforge right for it to print. Thanks, guys.